I'm the technology coordinator for the Fort Cherry School District. I'd like to take a few minutes to explain to you a little bit about the technology that we have to offer. First, we offer three stationary labs at the elementary center. Each lab is equipped with 25 computers. Next, at the high school level, we offer four stationary labs, and each of those labs are also equipped with 25 computers. And behind me, our newest addition to our computer labs are the smart boards. The smart boards enable the teacher to give a visual learning approach to the student by way of seeing the actual computer screen in a larger fashion and then the student can turn to the computer and basically do the same thing that the teacher just showed them on the smart board. We have seven of them throughout the school district. There is one in every computer lab as well as two mobile smart boards. The mobile smart boards are kept in the libraries and can be signed out by each individual teacher and taken into their classroom. Once they have the smart board in their classroom, they have the option of signing out one of our two mobile labs. We've purchased mobile labs and we've had them now for at least the past four years. These mobile labs house 24 wireless laptop computers. We have one at the elementary center and one at the high school. I'd like to break now and take you into an elementary science classroom where Mr. Narrigan is currently teaching with the laptops and he'll tell you a little bit more about how he uses the laptops in his classroom. We've been using the laptops in sixth grade for a couple months now uh, since they went online and we are finding that they're very useful for a variety of reasons. I enjoy the mobile lab because I can work at my own speed and I don't have to worry about what the other classmates, what my other classmates are doing and um, when the class is doing something else I can be ahead of them and work at my own speed. One of the features that I believe is most beneficial is that every student is able to be um, online or engaged on a computer in the classroom. It has helped us to be able to uh, be much more mobile and to not be dependent upon the intermediate lab being available. It's also allowed us to explore different science topics. For example, today as we were taking a look at the Mars rover and it's allowed that technology to become available to students um, on a much more uh, efficient and time sensitive basis. You should be able to navigate into one of those places, um, Mars for kids or Mars for students. You should be able to find a link somewhere, perhaps in the activities bar. Other students have been able to find out um, what their weight would be. First, you need to know approximately what your weight is here on Earth, and you have to put your weight in, and it will show you what your weight would be if you happen to be on Mars with the Mars rover. So go ahead and look for it. At the bottom of the screen, you might want to check somewhere like activities. Oftentimes, by the time we could get to the lab, um, the Mars rover would have been weeks old. Another interesting part of using the laptops is we often tell the students that the teachers learn something from them every day also. When we begin to use, when we begin to use the laptops, a lot of the students were showing us some tips and techniques of how to use different features on the laptops that we weren't necessarily aware of. So that's uh, some of the fun of this job too when we use the mobile lab, being able to learn from students and share information. Um, we also found that students are uh, able to pick up very quickly the use of the technology and as an example today in class one of the students uh, who was new was being sort of mentored and tutored from another student who is able to show them um, how we use the laptops and how to change batteries, how to install disk drives when we need to use them since they are external drives and I believe that that helps them to be able to uh, explain and understand the technology when they have to tutor other students and show them how to use that technology. Now we would like to take you into Mr. Dawson's classroom 
who is a high school science teacher and he's going to explain to you how he uses the laptops to encourage the students to do even more research on their own. And we'll let him take it away. Benefits I found from using the mobile lab for each student is that we used to go to the library and now they have the ability to each have their own computer or in my case I had them work in pairs. So it, instead of having maybe five or ten students, now I can have all twenty or even thirty students working on their own or as a group for the computers. Um, I found that by everybody having their own or a computer in a group that it was more student-centered and through this they were able to stay more on task and ultimately learn more about the topic and be more involved and, and get more out of it. The mobile lab allowed for reinforcement in some cases of topics, um, things that they could look up. Um, again, as a teacher, it also allowed me to introduce the topic, in my case genetics. Students really don't know much about the topic and it seems to be abstract, sometimes to the extent that they kind of turn themselves off and really don't even attempt to learn it because they don't really understand it. In this case, they were able to look up a genetic disorder, understand what the disorder is and what it means, and then by teaching DNA, genes, and genetics in general, it kind of made sense. This is how it works. This is what happens if it, if it does not work correctly. It results in things such as these topics that they were able to look up. For example, Parkinson's syndrome, Down syndrome, um, Turner syndrome and, and other disorders, and things that are actually pretty common in society, um, including color blindness, um, albinism, things of that sort. The last thing I wanted to bring up to your attention is our newest advances in the school district. This advance has been district-wide wireless internet access. The wireless access has been put in all points of the school district covering our entire campus. This gives the ability for our students as well as our teachers to have wireless internet connectivity wherever they may be. It also, we felt, will give our seniors a chance to use wireless internet connectivity before they move on to college where I'm sure they'll be seeing it there. So it's just another way that we're providing the student better grounds for their future.